Hey everyone, I have a few videos where I brag about this right here, the Ambernick RG35XX. It is what I believe to be the best retro handheld emulator on the market currently. Not the most powerful, but the best bang for your buck, and I highly recommend picking one up. There's a link in the description. But today, I want to show you how to make this even better by installing a custom operating system called Garlic OS. Let's get into it. In order to get started, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need to install these three applications, or at least applications that can do what they do. Those would be WinRAR for unzipping the files, Belena Etcher for flashing the OS to your SD card, and the Mini Tool Partition Wizard for resizing one of the partitions you're going to make. If that all sounds like mumbo jumbo to you, don't worry. It's easy and I'm going to walk you through it. You're also going to need a card reader. I'll have the one I'm using linked below. And I want to thank all of you who have used my affiliate links. I do get a tiny percentage back on each purchase at no cost to you. In fact, that's how I was able to purchase this card reader. If this video helps you out, pay it forward by using the links so I can make even more entertaining and helpful videos for others. You'll also need a micro SD card and I highly recommend these Lexar cards. They're affordable and high quality, also linked below. Next, you're going to go to Black Seraph's Patreon page. You can find it by searching Garlic OS for RG35XX. Once you get there, you're going to see that there's a huge change log. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find the comment section. Once you've found that, right above that, you'll find that there are four linked files. You need two of them, the micro SD card image .7z.001 and .002. You have to have both. If you have just one, you're going to get error messages when you try to unzip them. Once you have both downloaded, you're going to right click the 001 file and say extract here. You're going to see it extracts two files. One is a readme file, which you won't really need since you're watching this video. The other is garlic.img, and that's the OS that we're going to use to flash to your SD card. If you need to format your disk, go ahead and do that now. Use the default FAT32. Next, we're going to open Belena Etcher. Select our file by going to the folder where you have extracted the garlic.img. Select it and hit open. Then make sure that you have your SD card selected as your target. And finally, click flash. Depending on the size of your card, this might take a few minutes, but it shouldn't take more than two or three. And what it's about to do is flash this OS to your card, but only take up four gigs of your available space. After the flash is completed, you're going to have to eject your drive. So while you've already done that, you might as well put it into the RG35XX and make sure that it boots appropriately. You should see Garlic OS 1.4.9. Now reinsert it back into your computer and open the Mini Tool Partition Wizard. This next step is very important because it's going to allow you to install more games on your card. You want to make sure that you don't select whatever disk has the C drive in it, as that is your computer's hard drive and you don't want to mess with that. But here on mine, it shows that disk 2 is my micro SD card. And you'll notice that there is a big space on it that says unallocated. It's about 26 gigs. I'm using a 32 gig card. Next to it is a FAT32 that is 3.2 gigs. That's where your games are going to be installed. So you want to right click on that, click on move slash resize, and then you're going to drag that arrow all the way across your unallocated space, and then click OK. Next, hit apply, and you're going to see that that 3.2 gig space is now going to be much larger. And this means that you're going to be able to install even more games. It won't take long to resize that partition. Once that's done, you'll see that that whole section has been resized. And the last step's pretty important too, because this doesn't have any games on it. So you're gonna to wanna to go to that drive that you just resized, find the ROMs folder. This is gonna have folders for all the different systems that you can play on your RG35XX, like the Super Famicom the Sega CD, the PlayStation, and more. Then you're simply going to find your ROMs and drop them in the appropriate system folder. Once you've done that, you can eject your drive, place it back in your RG35XX, and you'll be good to go. And it's really that simple. Once you have the right tools and know-how, it doesn't take long at all. If you found this helpful, help me out by using the affiliate links, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, watching another video. Any and all combinations of those things are a great help as I try to get this channel up and running full time. 
Thanks for watching. Stay kind and encouraging out there. And as always, I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Thank you.